Today we're here at the 1984 draft to find out what would have happened if Steph Curry played in every era. The way this is going to work is Curry's going to spend four years in each and every era in 2K. Let's get into the draft to see where Curry's going to be starting his career. The Rockets are picking at number one and they're going to take Michael Jordan. At two, the Chicago Bulls will take Hakeem Olajuwon. The Blazers are picking at three and Steph Curry is a Portland Trailblazer. Curry's going to have to compete for playing time on a deep Blazers team. This team has seven players who are 83 overall or higher. And Fat Lever is another young point guard who's on this Blazers team who Curry's going to have to compete for minutes with. Steph's rookie year is wrapped and Magic wins MVP. It'll be interesting to see if Steph and Magic have any battles during this video. Hakeem Olajuwon wins rookie of the year, so no rookie of the year for Steph. Hakeem also won DPOY in his rookie season, which is ridiculous. As for Curry, he did make the all-rookie first team, averaging a little over 17 points per game and having some great efficiency. So it seems like he's not struggling in this old era at all. As a team, we were the number three seed. We won 51 games on the season, a solid year for sure. Now it looks like Steph Curry is pretty deep on the bench for this team though. He is the seventh man on the roster. I was talking about their depth and yes, that'll help in the playoffs, but that won't help Curry's individual stats. Let's see if we can make it out of the first round this season against the Los Angeles Clippers. The series is all tied up into a piece and at this time it was first to three wins in the first round. We've got a three point game here. Clippers have the ball, win or go home situation, and Curry is on the floor here. Ball's gonna go over to John Stockton, another player who's in the 84 draft. He pulls an open mid range and knocks it down. The Clippers are within a point. Now, Steph Curry has an opportunity in his rookie season to make a big play to help his team get out of the first round. Steph Curry not really getting anywhere with these dribble moves, and the shot clock is winding down. He's going to need to put up a shot, and he gets fouled. I wonder if we were in the bonus. Okay, we weren't in the bonus, and they just subbed Steph Curry out. He was just dribbling that whole possession, and I guess they had seen enough. Paxson has it. Now the shot clock is winding down for him. He gives it over to Lever. Fat Lever going to have to pull a tough midi, and he misses it. Clippers grab the rebound. They're going to have a chance to win the game here. Ball goes into Stockton. Stockton, with about 10 seconds left to go in the game, he's going to slow things down. He passes it down to Cummings in the post. Cummings going to fake it, and he's in the deep post. He puts up the hook, and it's good. Oh, my goodness, man. We're going to blow this. 2.3 seconds to go, and we are down by one. They are not going to put Steph Curry in the game here for the final play, so somebody else is going to have to come through with the game winner. It goes into Fat Lever in the corner, and he misses it. We lost. Steph Curry, 14 points in this one. What a devastating ending to the season, and Curry struggled in his rookie playoff debut. But now, Steph Curry should have a lot more opportunities on this team. He's up to an 88 overall. And Clyde Drexler has progressed a lot as well. Fat Lever's up to an 87. And Jim Paxson is also an 87. So this team, it's low-key stacked. We've got a lot of depth. Magic, another MVP. Anyways, this season was very successful for Steph Curry. He ended up making the All-NBA third team. Averaging almost 21 points per game, and John Stockton is here as well. So two guys who were in the same draft. As a team, we finished as the three seed once again, but we improved in the wins column. We ended up winning 58 games this season, and the Blazers opted to have Curry still coming off the bench, but I don't think that's going to last for long. I bet by next year he'll be starting. In round number one, we got the Houston Rockets. Remember, this is first to three wins, so we just got to get this done. We're all tied up into a piece, and again, we're going to an elimination game in the first round. This time, we're going to win in convincing fashion. A 25-point dub here. Steph Curry, only 13 points. So far, he's on fraud watch for the playoffs, but hopefully he'll be able to pick it up. We're moving on to round two against Utah. They got Ricky Green, Daryl Griffith, and Adrian Dantley, so definitely a solid squad. But I feel like we have some of the best depth in the league. Game number one is going to go to us. Game two will go to Utah. Game three is also going to go to Utah. We're all tied up into a piece headed into game five. Let's get in the simcast. We've got another close one here. It is a two-point game. We have the lead. Hopefully, we don't blow it in the clutch like we did last. Griffith has the ball. He's going to get the screen from Thurl Bailey. Mid-range jumper wide open, and he misses it. Jim Paxson snags the rebound, and he's bringing the ball up the floor. He gets it to Steph. 
Curry has the ball at the top of the key. He doesn't take as many threes in this era. He's going to step in for the mid-range and knock it down. There you go, and we're up by four. As long as we don't let Utah get a three, we should be in a good spot. It'd be good if we didn't let them score at all. It looks like they sub Steph out after that bucket. Ball's going to go over to Dantley. Dantley working in the mid-range. I mean, he's just wasting the whole shot clock. This team is just dribbling around like they have time. And now there was a foul call. I think it was an illegal screen. So I think we're good to go. We're going to get out of here with the dub. That was a pivotal game five win. And Steph Curry stepped up for us with 22 points and nine assists. And of course, that big mid-range bucket. One game away from the conference finals and we'll make it. So now we're going to be facing the Los Angeles Lakers. A Steph Curry versus Magic Johnson battle in only the second year of Steph's career. Game one goes to us. I accidentally pressed Sim round, but we're all tied up at two apiece, which gives me a perfect opportunity to hop in the SimCast for game five. We've got another close one here. It is a two-point game. We have the lead with a little over a minute to go, and Steph is guarding Magic. Oh, man. Magic definitely has a size advantage here, so we're going to bring the double, but that gives Magic an opportunity for an easy assist, and we're all tied up. We need Steph to make a big play here. Hopefully they don't sub him out in the clutch this time. Curry at the top of the key. He's going to get the screen and he's going to pull the three, Steph, and he misses it. You don't see players pull threes much in these 80s hopping games. Magic Johnson bringing up the ball, spin move, lay. He's using his size to his advantage against the smaller Steph Curry. And now the Lakers have a two-point lead after back-to-back -back big plays from Magic. Does Steph have an answer here? He's going to pull another three and he misses it. Uh-oh. Steph Curry is choking in the clutch. Ball's going to go to Byron Scott and we're going to opt to foul. And after the foul, they sub Steph out the game, but I can't blame him this time. He was kind of selling. Y'all need to score quickly. Paxton has the ball. He is wide open. He's going to give it over to Lever. Lever back to Paxton. He's open for three and he hits it. Big shot from Jim Paxson, and we've got a one-point game here. A magic miss here would be huge. First free throw for Johnson is good. Second free throw for Magic is also good. So we have a three-point game here. We're going to need a three because you know that's how math works. Lever bringing up the basketball. He's going to pass it over to Cooper, over to Paxson, who's open again. And Paxson misses it. Man, missed threes were the story of this game as we take an L in the pivotal game five. Steph Curry, 20 points, but it's not going to be enough. And those two missed threes were really tough. We're down 3-2. We need game six to keep our season alive, and we're going to take it. So we're going to a winner go home game seven, final strip on the line. And we're going to get the dub in game seven. Steph Curry with 20 points as we advance to the NBA Finals after beating Magic. And we're going to be taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. They've got an older Dr. J and a prime Moses Malone. They've also got Mo Cheeks. So definitely a solid squad. Game number one is going to go to us. Is Steph going to be able to win a chip in year two? Game two goes to Philly. Game three also goes to Philly. And we're all tied up at two apiece. Let's get in the SimCast for game five. Unfortunately, game five is going to be a Philadelphia win. Despite Steph Curry dropping 18 and six on good efficiency, it's not going to be enough as Dr. J gives us 32. We're one game away from elimination, but we're going to fight back. We're headed to game seven. And in game seven, Philadelphia is going to take us down. Steph Curry, 21 and seven, but Moses Malone dominating on the glass. 17 rebounds to go along with 26 points. He also had four blocks and the Sixers will win the chip. A devastating end to a great playoff run. Steph Curry had a rough first round, but he really picked it up after that. But unfortunately, it's not going to be enough as we head into year three. For season three, Curry's going to have that starting PG role on lock, but it looks like we lost Clyde Drexler, which is absolutely terrible. He was a big piece for us last year, and we're going to have to get it done without him, which means Steph is really going to have to turn it up this year. Magic Johnson wins another MVP. He's three for three on MVPs in this sim. Steph Curry once again named to the All-NBA third team. Pretty similar numbers to last season. Assists are up, so is the scoring just by a little bit, and efficiency continues to be great. Our win total went down this year, but we were still really good. 54 wins on the season with Steph as the starting PG, and that was good enough for us during the four seed. We're going to be taking on Golden State in the first round, and we'll beat them in four. Now we're moving on to take on the Los Angeles Lakers, who we beat last season 
Let's see if we can do it again, this time without Clyde Drexler. Game number one goes to the Lakers. Game two also goes to LA. Oh man, we're really feeling the Drexler loss as we get swept. Let's see how this run was for Steph. It looks like he was really good this year. Definitely his best playoff run so far. Unfortunately, as a team, we weren't able to get back to the finals. Steph Curry up to a 94 overall. The supporting cast continues to dwindle though, as Fat Lever left the team as well. But this is going to be Steph's final year in the Jordan era. Man, we get it, Magic. You can win MVPs. This year though, Steph Curry really solidified himself as one of the top players in the league. All NBA first team, averaging almost 30 to a game to go along with about 10 assists a night if you round up a little bit. Man, Steph was cooking. We only won 47 games though because the team just keeps losing out on key players. Let's see if we can at least make it out the first round and we will. Round two, we got the Los Angeles Lakers and they're up 3-1 on us and we lose in five. So now it's going to be time for Steph Curry to move on to his next era. Our next era that Steph's going to be playing in is the Jordan era, and he's going to be playing alongside Clyde Drexler on the Portland Trailblazers. Now usually players will get their rookie extensions after their first contract, so he'll be in Portland for the next five seasons, but once we enter the Kobe era, Steph will be set to enter free agency, so we'll have to watch out for that. Let's get into the season. To start off the Jordan era, Steph Curry is getting outshined by his own teammate, Clyde Drexler, who took home the MVP. Now, Steph was still good, don't get me wrong. He was on the All-NBA second team, averaging about 26 points and 10 assists. And this duo of Steph and Clyde dominated the Western Conference as we won 69 games and ended off the year on an eight game win streak. Round number one, we got San Antonio. We're gonna win easily. Round two, we got the Lakers who should still have magic on their squad. And it looks like we're gonna beat them in six. Conference finals, it's gonna be Utah. Hopefully we can beat them as well. We're down three to one in the series and we lose in five to the Jazz. Steph Curry in the final game, only 16 and 13. And Drexler, he was playing at a very high level during these playoffs. I would say he outshined Steph this year. Team still looks pretty much the same. We just got to lock in in the playoffs. We won almost 70 games last year. There's no reason we shouldn't have won the chip. We are in the Jordan era, so we are going to have to worry about this guy. Michael Jordan wins MVP. Shaquille in Denver wins Rookie of the Year. Shout out to Terry Porter. He won Sixth Man of the Year. And Rick Adelman, our coach, is Coach of the Year as we went 70 and 12. Steph Curry averaging over 10 assists a night this season. A great year, but we got to cap it off with the championship. Round number one, we got Houston. We'll beat them in a sweep. Round two, we got Golden State. We'll sweep them. Conference finals, we got Seattle. It's a 3-2 series, and we're headed to game seven against the Sonics. The Sonics have Kemp, Brad Daughtry, and they also have Gary Payton. So a solid squad, but honestly, I don't know why we're going seven with them. If we can beat them, we're going to have to take on Mike in the NBA finals. So I really want to get this dub. Uh-oh, Kerr fraud. We might be cooked, man. We just lost after a 70-win season. You've got to be kidding me. We had a chance to play Michael Jordan, Steph. What happened? Okay, he was doing his thing in the playoffs. I can't really blame him. Was Clyde selling? Yeah, a little bit. Man, we got to lock in for next year. We keep winning all these regular season games, but we can't win that chip. All right, Steph and Clyde, it's a legacy year for y'all. Larry Johnson MVP is kind of crazy. Shout out to Terry Porter, another six man of the year. And this season, Lou Burton wins coach of the year. Maybe we dropped off a little bit this year. Clyde Drexler, all NBA first team. He's been great. Steph Curry on the second team. He's also been great, but we just need to be really good as a collective. We won 64 games on the season. It's time to win this championship. Round number one, we got Houston. We'll beat them in four. Round two, it's going to be Seattle. We get revenge, beat them in five. Conference finals, we'll beat Utah. And we got our matchup against Mike. That was a quick, easy trip to the finals. But now we've got the ultimate challenge. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Game number one of the series is going to go to the Bulls. Game two will also go to Chicago. We'll take game three and game four, setting up a pivotal game five here that could shift all the momentum. We've got a close game here. Four-point game. We have the ball. Steph, what are you doing? 
thing. Oh, yo, 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 oh my goodness. They would have called him a wizard taking shots like this in the 90s. You see where he pulled it from, bro? This is where the three-point line is. He's fading and pulling from that deep. That's crazy, man. We just hopped in the game, Steph. And now we've got a seven-point lead, of course. The Bulls have Michael Jordan, so we'll stay in here because you know MJ could make something happen. Mike has the ball at the top of the key. Jordan going to pull his patented mid-range jumper and miss it. The ball is going to go to Steph Curry. Steph, why not just let it fly as soon as you step across half court? It seems like he might be hot in this one. Curry defended by the big man. Curry going to swing it over to Drexler. It goes over to Williams. Williams down to Duckworth in the post. Duckworth is doubled. It goes out to Curry. Curry on the three-point line. He's dancing with the ball. Shot clock winded down. And did he just turn it over? He's fighting for it. Is that a turnover on Portland? Yes, it is. Chicago going to retain possession. They're going to need a quick bucket here, though. Michael Jordan has the ball. Mike going to get the screen up top. Jordan, his patented mid-range misses again. And Chicago is probably cooked. What a three-point shot from Steph Curry. And this game is over with. We're going to win game five. So we've taken three games in a row in this series. We started off down two to zero. And now we're one game away from a chip. We're down by two here. We have the ball less than a minute 30 to go. Ball is going to go into Clyde Drexler. Drexler defended by Pippen, one of the best defenders in NBA history. Drexler going to take the ball back out to the three-point line. He can't make much happen with Pippen on him. Ball goes over to Williams. Williams going to swing it to Curry. Curry with the shot clock starting to tick down. Has to make a move. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Curry spinning. He's dribbling. He's going to take a tough mid-range and miss it. Bulls will secure the rebound. And now there is less than a minute to go in the game. Copeland has the ball. Copeland at the top of the key. Where is Michael Jordan? I just now noticed he is not in the basketball game. He has 47 points. That is ridiculous. But he fouled out in this one. So the Bulls are going to have to finish the job without Jordan. Armstrong has the ball. BJ Armstrong going to get the screen and pull the mid-range. He misses it. Board goes to Williams. And now we are down by four. We need a bucket here. Steph had that big three in the last game. Something like that would be huge right about now. Ball is going to go into Drexler. Drexler over to Curry. Curry in the mid-range area. He's going to spin. He's trying to make his way to the basket. Swings it out to Drexler. He's open for three. And he misses it. Person grabs the rebound. And it's going to go over to BJ Armstrong for some free throws. Man, Mike fouled out after those 47 points. We really had a chance to win this one, but nobody went too crazy for our squad in the midst of MJ and Pippen having a great game for Chicago. So we're going to a game seven. This has been a crazy back and forth between the Bulls and the Blazers, and it all comes down to this in game seven. We are up by two points here. Ball is going to go over to Jerome Kersey. Kersey working in the mid-range. Out to Porter, who's open for three. He misses it. And a beautiful tip-in from our big. Is that Kevin Duckworth? One thing I noticed, though, Steph Curry is not in the game. He ended up fouling out in 22 minutes. So Curry's Blazers are going to have to finish the job without him in game seven. We've got a four-point cushion here. Michael Jordan has the ball. Jordan working in the mid-range. And he misses another midi. Man, Mike's missed quite a few middies in these hopping games. Drexler attacking Michael Jordan, misses the layup, and MJ grabs the rebound. Mike pushing the pace here, barrels his way to the basket, and he gets it to go. What a roll for Michael Jordan. I thought for sure that was going to miss. We're up by two here. Drexler getting clamped by Mike. Mike forced Drexler to pick up the ball. It goes over to Terry Porter. Porter going to turn it over. No, the Bulls have an opportunity here on the fast break, but they kind of blew it. Armstrong gonna pass it down to Mike and the game is tied up. We're blowing it. Steph Curry just had to foul out in game seven, but there is about 20 seconds to go in this game. We still have a chance. It's all tied up. Bulls have a lot of momentum here. They've played some great defense on us. Drexler defended by Jordan. We need one from you right now, Clyde. Clyde gonna hold the ball. It looks like he is waiting for the last shot. He's probably gonna be taking it over Michael Jordan. Drexler in the mid-range and it's good. Clyde Drexler, a foul line jumper in the clutch right over Michael Jordan. Oh my goodness, what a shot from Clyde the Glide. Drexler, beautiful mid-range bucket. We're up by two. But there's still 1.8 seconds to go. That's plenty of time for the Bulls to end this game or send it to OT. So it's not over yet. Person 
Inbounding the ball. I'm assuming it's going to Mike. Mike from deep. And he's going to hit it. Michael Jordan, the buzzer beating three pointer to win the championship in game seven of the finals. Oh my goodness. Michael Jordan from deep range. I can't even hate, bro. I can't even hate. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. This was Steph's chance to win a ring. But what a shot from Jordan. Do you see where he pulled it from? MJ for three. Wow. What a shot from Mike. I thought for sure that was going to miss, but the Bulls are NBA champions, and Steph Curry has to watch as he fouled out in this one. What a game that was. Shout out to Clyde. Beautiful midi, but unfortunately, Mike is just different. What a three-point shot. After that devastating loss, we're headed into Steph Curry's final year in the Jordan era. Clyde Drexler is tough. Another MVP. We just got to get this chip. I can't reiterate it enough. We get coach of the year once again, Rick Adelman, and Clyde and Steph are both on the All-NBA first team. Keep in mind, Michael Jordan is in this league, and our backcourt both made it to the first team. So let's win this championship. We got to get back to the finals. Uh, okay, or we're just going to lose in four games. Shout out to Steph, though. 36 points per game and 10 assists a night. We end up losing in the first round. Unfortunate. But I have to say, that was a very entertaining Jordan era. I had a ton of fun in that sim. And now it's time for us to head on to the Kobe era. So we're here in the Kobe era. Steph is on the final year of his deal. And this Blazers team is pretty bad. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Steph try and find a new opportunity in free agency this offseason. Kobe taking home an MVP. He's going to be dominant in this Kobe era sim. Yao Ming, Rookie of the Year. Bonzi Wells, Sixth Man of the Year for our squad. Man, it seems like the Blazers just got that Sixth Man Award on lock. Ben Wallace, DPOI. Ricky Davis, Most Improved. And Phil Jackson wins Coach of the Year. Steph Curry only makes the All-NBA third team. Now, there is a lot of guard talent in this league. You've got guys like Kobe, T-Mac, J-Kid, AI, VC, and of course, Steph Curry. But that ended up bumping Steph down to the third team despite a really solid individual season. We only ended up winning 45 games on the year. Not too surprising. I actually expected us to not even make the playoffs at all. And it looks like Dallas is probably going to take us down in the first round. Hey, maybe not. We're headed to a game seven here against Dirk Nash in the maps. We are going to lose in game seven. It was a 20 point L, but that's fine. Steph tried his best to carry in the first round. It just wasn't enough. Now Steph Curry is going to be entering free agency and he has a ton of offers, but it looks like his number one offer is from the Blazers. It might just be like real life where Steph spends his entire career with one team. Now Shaq getting in the mix, winning an MVP. It's going to be rough for Curry to try and take down this duo of Shaq and Kobe. LeBron gets drafted to the Bulls in this that's absolutely crazy Steph Curry on the all NBA third team this season continues to do his thing but as a team we were bad we won 35 games on the year so no playoffs for Steph this season Chris came in finals MVP is ridiculous hopefully Zach Randolph can save the day no all NBA this year for Steph and this season we kind of suck 43 wins on the year. At least it was good enough to make it into the playoffs. Steph is good individually, but again, it's kind of a team thing, man. We just got to be better as a team. We're going to lose in six to the Lakers. Honestly, I'm surprised we were even able to take two games off of them. And Bron already going to win a finals MVP in his second season. Final year in the Kobe era, and I have a feeling it's probably not going to be a good one. My glorious king taking over the league. Steph Curry, all NBA third team, averaging about 25 a night. We were trash again. Steph Curry actually re-upped on a three-year contract with the Blazers, so he'll be staying in Portland for at least the majority of the LeBron era as we move on. Steph's going to get to play alongside LaMarcus Aldridge and Brandon Roy in the LeBron era. Steph Curry on the All-NBA third team this season as he averages about 24 points per game, adding on nine assists tonight. We were the fifth seed this season. We won 58 games, ended off the year on a six-game winning streak, so a really solid year for sure, but it looks like we're about to get cooked by Denver in the first round. Come on, Steph. It's been years since Steph had playoff success. Ever since that MJ shot, nothing was the same. Shout out Drake. Don't worry, Nick Batum's up a couple overalls, so he should be able to save the franchise. Steph Curry, all NBA second team this season. He's kind of getting old now. He's 32. Old man Steph averaging about 25 points and nine assists a game. 
43 and 39 on the season. We have just been mid season after season. We, we made it out the first round. Oh my goodness, we're so back. We're taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder in the second round. Oh my goodness, bro. This team is just insane. And they added mid range Maestro, Zach Randolph. It might be over with. We're going to tie up the series at one apiece. We're going to take game three and game four, the win sanity run. We're about to make it to the finals. Oh man, we got the Lakers in the conference finals. Kobe and Powell. I should be scared, but did y'all see? that OKC team game number one gonna go to us game two goes to the Lakers game three goes to the late oh my gosh bro I thought this was our year I thought this was our year I thought we were defying all odds and we were gonna make a championship run but it ended against the Lakers and Derrick Rose is gonna win a championship and a finals MVP the Blazers might be the greatest when it comes to just putting mid talent around a superstar the Brody wins MVP. Steph Curry, All-NBA second team once again. Portland Trail Blazers, trash once again. Steph's finally going to be a free agent, bro. I swear, Steph, all, all this loyalty stuff, it's time to run from the grind. Dame left Portland, you can do it too. Oh my gosh, bro, no. He'll never run from the grind. He's just the most loyal. Last season of the LeBron era sim, Steph's just going to have to pull off a miracle. Or maybe we'll be fine. Nerland's Noel is here to save the day. Steph, all NBA second team. And we were actually good. We won 51 basketball games. The Rockets got the third seed with 34 wins because of the division rules. Oh, that, that's tragic. And we're down 3-1 to Utah. We're going to take game five and game six. Maybe a little 3-1 comeback. Time for the modern era. Four more years left. Blazers front office is going to have to lock in. Steph Curry, all NBA third team. Yo, we won 56 games. And I think the reason why is because the Blazers this year are kind of decent in 2K. And you add Steph into the mix, things can get crazy. We're up 3-2 on the Pels in round one. We're ready to do a game seven. Nothing can be easy for Steph in this video. Steph bringing up the basketball, passes it up to Jeremy Grant. Grant to the basket. Nice layup is good. And we are up by five points. We just get a stop here and we're in a really good spot. CJ McCollum going to get the screen from Jonas Valanciunas. McCollum looking to make his way to the basket and he gets a lane that's an easy two for McCollum less than a minute to go and the Pels are within three does Curry have an answer here Steph gonna get the screen from Rob Will and pull a deep three and he misses it that's a crazy shot I know he's Steph Curry but that was a bad shot shout out Paul George Dyson Daniels gonna pass it down to Valanciunas and we've got a one-point game 34.4 seconds to go and the Pelicans they're full court pressing here Steph Curry he's under pressure in the backcourt he can get a six second violation here he gets it across the timeline and then he's fouled Curry first free throw is cash money second free throw for Curry is good three point game here Pelicans have a chance to tie this one up potentially force overtime Brandon Ingram defended by Matisse Thibel great that we have Thibel on the team for defense Ingram gonna get the screen pull the no he fakes the mid-range passes it down to Valanchunas now Ingram's wide open on the relocation and it's good Brandon Ingram a great play there he had me faked out on that mid-range shot fake he dumped it down to Valanchunas relocated got open and this game is tied up Steph Curry likely gonna hold for the last shot here and go for game oh no he's making his move he gets to the basket little floater is good for Curry less than three seconds to go here Pels have no timeouts Ingram gonna throw it up from full court oh my goodness that almost went in but we get the win we're moving on to round two shout out to Steph man 47 points in the final game of the series four steals as well round two we got Dallas with Luka and Kyrie and we're down three to one we lost in five so all that hype from the game seven just to go ahead and get cooked in the next round shout out to Steph though he was doing his thing team looks nice going into season number two of the modern era we're coming off of a great year we had a lot of progression in the offseason i'm excited no all nba this season for curry but we were the number one seed 58 wins in a weak western conference no other team even ended up winning 50 games on the season steph continues to be great i'm very hopeful for this season round number one we're gonna easily beat houston round two we got the oklahoma city thunder we'll beat them in five conference finals it's gonna be the denver nuggets and we'll beat them in five steph curry finally back in the nba finals for the first time since the jordan era where mj gamed us with that mean game winner we gotta get revenge and win the chip this year game number one of the series is gonna go to us game two will go to cleveland game three also goes to the Cavs. we're down three to one we're gonna take game four 
We're gonna take game five, so maybe a 3-1 comeback. No, we lose in six to Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. We got blown out in game six. A valiant effort from Curry. We just gotta put it all together. We should see more progression from our guys in the offseason. Hopefully Steph won't regress too much and we can make a run at it next year. Team's looking great. There's only two years left and Steph Curry is still ringless. He's got to make this happen and fast. No all NBA for old man Steph, but we were great once again. Curry, he continues to do his thing and we're just getting better and better in the wins column. We just got to put it all together this year. Round number one, we got the eight seeded Jazz and we're going to sweep them. Round two, it's going to be the Houston Rockets and it looks like we're going to get out of here. Yep, we beat them in six. Conference Finals, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder. Last year, we had an easy series against the Thunder, but OKC and 2K, they get a lot of draft picks, stack up on talent, their young guys get better. So I'm a little worried going into this series. We're all tied up at two apiece. We take game five and game six, so we're back in the finals. And Steph Curry's gonna be taking on the Toronto Raptors, led by Pascal Siakam, huh? This is interesting. You usually don't see the Raptors in the finals, but they got Scotty Barnes, Siakam, OG Ananobi, Quickly, and Bobby Portis, a solid team, but I don't think they're better than us. Game number one is going to go to us. Game two goes to Toronto. Game three to the Raptors. We're all tied up into a piece. Let's get in the Simcast for game five. Like, dude, I do not understand, Steph. What is going on? Why can't you win a championship? We're one game away from elimination. All right, we forced game seven. Y'all better lock in for this one. This is a huge game. Steph has a chance to get a chip. We did it. Finally, Steph Curry gets an NBA championship. In the second to last season of the video, Steph finally wins a ring. He did it. Wow. We got a chip. And we're going to run it back one more season. See if Steph can repeat. Scoot is up to an 87 overall. DeAndre Ayton's also an 87. We got Anthony Simons. I feel like we've lost some of our depth, though. Hopefully, Steph, Scoot, and DeAndre can go crazy this year. No All-NBA for old man Steph. We were pretty bad. We were only a playing team this year. Steph Curry averaged 21 points and about seven assists. And let's see if we can somehow make it out the play-in. No, we can't. So I guess the championship was a Lynn Sanity run. But at least Steph got one chip in this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.